Following the publication of new images on social media and in local media outlets, analysts have begun to observe that the S-350 and S-400 air defense systems of the Russian armed forces appear to have been modernized with new ASA radars, with the aim of increasing their target detection capabilities. In addition, efforts to upgrade these systems also stand out for providing them with a greater ability to withstand electronic attacks that could degrade their combat performance, a key aspect on modern battlefields. Expanding on the details, it should be noted that in the case of the S-350 systems, they would have been equipped with a new Dual Array 96L6 TSB radar along with three passive 96L6 BP modules. As described, these newly integrated systems would provide the platform with the ability to detect stealth enemy threats, as well as to operate in a covert mode without having the main radar switched on. On the other hand, the more modern S, 400 systems would have been prepared to operate with Yenisei type radars, which would enable them to track potential threats traveling at hypersonic speeds. Furthermore, it is indicated that the platform will now be able to detect aircraft with a low radar cross section at distances between 150 and 200 kilometers, while in the case of conventional aircraft, this range would extend up to 600 kilometers. It is useful to recall at this point that both systems form part of a broader air defense network deployed by Russia to safeguard its airspace, characterized by the configuration of multiple defensive layers to provide a phased response to potential threats. In this context, the S-350 systems are employed to neutralize medium-range targets, while the S-400 offer greater capabilities and also add the ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously. An even higher tier is occupied by the S. 500 models, whose characteristics allow them to intercept targets at very high altitudes, and which have also been the subject of speculation regarding the integration of Yenisei radars. Beyond this issue, it is also worth considering that Russia has long been striving to modernize the capabilities of its main air defense systems, especially by taking into account lessons learned from combat operations against Ukraine. As an illustrative example, it should be noted that last December the CEO of the weapons manufacturer Almazani, Yanovikov, stated regarding the S-400. One of these responses is the enormous modernization potential of the S-400 air defense missile system, which allows us to quickly mitigate emerging threats during the special military operation. Thanks to this potential, the Triumph has acquired new capabilities and properties that are generally not characteristic of air defense systems. Finally, it is important to highlight that reports in local media also mention the idea that these innovations could be offered to international customers of the systems discussed above. This is no minor detail, considering, for example, that New Delhi is negotiating with Moscow over the potential purchase of additional S-400 systems to reinforce its existing inventories, which have proven their effectiveness during the so-called Operation Sindor. This forms part of a broader modernization process currently underway in the country. The S-350 Vityas, NATO reporting name, SA-28, is a modern Russian mobile medium-range surface-to-air missile, SAM, system developed by Almazani. It replaces older S-300 PS and Buk M1 systems, bridging the gap between short-range Panzer systems and long-range S-400-S-500 complexes. Development began in 2007, drawing from the joint Russian-South Korean KM-SAM project, which became South Korea's Kiyomi-2. The S-350 uses similar 9M96 series missiles, but is fully Russian designed. It was first publicly unveiled at the MAKS. 2013 Airshow passed state tests in 2019 and entered service with Russian Aerospace Forces in 2020. Production ramped up in the 2020s, with plans for hundreds of launchers by 2027. Missiles, primarily 9M96E-E2, active radar homing range up to 120 kilometers, altitude up to 30 kilometers, and shorter range 9M100, infrared homing, 10 to 15 kilometers, quad-packed option in naval variants. Vertical cold launch with thrust vectoring for high maneuverability, up to 60G. Engagement capability, 
One battery can engage up to 16 aerodynamic targets, e.g., aircraft, or 12 ballistic targets simultaneously, guiding up to 32 missiles at once. Range slash altitude. 15 to 120 kilometers for aircraft slash cruise missiles. Up to 30 to 60 kilometers for ballistic threats. Altitude 5 to 30 kilometers. Advantages. Higher missile load than older systems. Faster reaction time. Better against low-flying and precision-guided threats. Russia has deployed the S-350 in Ukraine since 2022 to 2023, where it reportedly intercepted drones, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and HIMARS rockets, sometimes in fully automatic mode using AI elements, claimed world first in 2023. The export version, S-350E, has been offered to countries like India, with potential technology transfer as of 2026, and displayed at international shows. No confirmed exports yet, but it is marketed as a cost-effective complement to S-400. The S-350 enhances Russia's layered air defense, excelling against massed attacks from drones, cruise missiles, and precision weapons. The S-400 Triumph is one of the world's most advanced mobile long-range surface-to-air missile SAM, systems, developed by Russia's Almazani. Introduced in 2007 as an upgrade to the S-300 series, it provides layered defense against aircraft, UAVs, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and even low-signature stealth targets in jammed environments. Key features, mobility, fully road mobile, rapid deployment on truck-based launchers. Multi-target capability, tracks up to 300 targets, engages 36 to 80 simultaneously, depending on configuration. Detection range, up to 600 kilometers with advanced radars, engagement altitude, from near ground to 30 to 56 kilometers, missile dependent. Response time. 9 to 10 seconds from detection to launch. Integration. Works with Panzer S1 for short range protection. Compatible with older S 300 missiles. Deployed widely by Russia, including Crimea, Syria, Far East, exported to China, India, called Sudarshna Chakra, Turkey, and others. Ongoing upgrades incorporate Ukraine conflict lessons for better hypersonic slash cruise missile interception. The system creates vast no-fly zones, deterring air operations, though real-world performance varies against saturating attacks slash drones.